Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I shared previously that uh, one interesting project called uh, Pullit. This is very interesting because it is able to do face cloning. I think the quality looks very nice. Today I wanted to share with you how to run it using Macbook, using Comfy UI, thanks to the awesome custom node called uh, Comfy UI Pullit dash flux. If you go to the GitHub page, you will find some examples. There is also a detailed instruction guide. Today I will want to show you how to do that. So you will need to go into your custom nodes and uh, do a git clone of the repository into your local MacBook or PC. So you go into your comfy UI directory, you go to your custom nodes, and do a get a clone of it. So once you complete that, you change your directory to the clone the pull it the flux directory and then you can open your the requirements.txt so you see that there are several dependencies and you do a pip install of them So there is one issue about the OMMX runtime dash GPU. This is because this package is not available on MacBook. So how to solve that? You should open your requirements.txt and comment it out. So put a sharp sign before it. You should be able to solve the issue and control O to save it and control X and then you, you install everything again. So make sure that you install everything. After that, you will need uh, to, to make sure that you have the flux the one dash dev model and uh, also some of the clip and the VAE. So I will show you where they are. So you go to in your models, you go to your unit, and you have the Flux Q4 version. So for this one, because I in order to save the VRAM, I use the Q4 quantization models. Feel free to use some bigger one if you have a bigger machine. And you also need to place the flux the one clip onto the clip directory. So those are the over there. Also the VAE file is like right right here. So next uh, is the pull it the uh, pre-trained model. It will go to the models pull it directory. If you don't have it, feel free to make one. Pull it and place the flux right here. It's not very big, about 1.14 gigabytes. It uh, mentioned that the EVA clip will be downloaded automatically, so you don't need to worry about that. And also the face X lib is also downloaded automatically. The last one, you will need to do it manually. You go to the Antelope V2 and download everything and then place it into the models inside phase models antelope v2 and place everything here so this one is now needed yeah make sure that one two three four five five files we needed to go into there. 
Once you have everything, you should be good to go. I will provide the my workflow to you. So I think in the rep repository, there is also some workflow. However, they are, they are only using the 8-bit and the 16-bit. So if you want to use a smaller bit, you can use my workflow. I will upload it to my GitHub repository. Feel free to grab it from there. For now, I will do a quick uh, test. Let me show you. So make sure that uh, you have the correct uh, model files. For example, for the VAE, for the GGUF, for the Flux1 dev Q4 GGUF. So for this one, if you have a question, please see my previous tutorial on installing GGUF. So we have the pulled flux safe tensor file. The EVA is automatically download. We see that we also have the clip. So make sure that you use the correct clip files here. I'm using the FPH version and the clip underscore L. And for here, there is a ratio settings. I'm using the three to four portrait version. For the import, you will need to provide a, a face. The quality of your output will depend on your import. So make sure that you can choose a good one. And you write some description. So for now, I'm using a simple one. Woman in business suit portrait for LinkedIn profile. Now, make sure that everything looks right. And then we can start the generating. Let's press the Q prompt. I'll show you the RAMs here. I GPUs here. Okay, we see that. Uh, it took uh, quite a long time, it's about uh, 726 seconds, but we successfully generated uh, the image and uh, the results looks quite amazing. Yeah, we see that the face are almost uh, exactly the same. So I think that's really, really good. And we see also see the quality, it's also very sharp uh, image. Wow, I would say that uh, we did a great job. I hope you can able to do that too. Let me know if you have any question. As you can see that uh, it can be a little bit uh, complicated to set up your own workflow. In order to make it uh, more easy for people to use, I created a, a web app that's based on the pullet. So you will just need to enter a website, you upload uh, your input, then you click a button, it will able to generate uh, the image for you. It is now live at uh, agireactor.com. Feel free to give it a try and let me know how you think. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Goodbye.